Now, let's use the equations and the flowchart that we just developed in order to solve for unknown numbers. Two owners of a business contribute $80,000 each to a business. During the year, the business has expenses of $290,000, paid dividends of $20,000, and earned revenues of $350,000. What is equity? The easiest way to solve these questions is to use a matrix. Now, let's go back to the flowchart for a second so that we can see how this is developed. Remember that assets are equal to liabilities plus equity. Underneath equity is the owner's capital and the retained earnings. And underneath the retained earnings is the profit and the dividends. And underneath the profit is the revenue and expenses. So when you look at it, equity is equal to owner's capital plus revenue minus expenses minus dividends. So we can put that into our matrix. Because assets have nothing underneath them and liabilities have nothing underneath them. So all we need to understand is what goes underneath equity. So for opening, during, and closing, I'm going to have assets equals liabilities plus equity. And under equity, I'm going to have revenue, expenses, dividends, and new contributions by owners. That's going to equal the closing. It should also be noted that for a brand new business like this one, the opening balances are all going to be zero. So let's fill in the known information. Two owners of the business contribute $80,000 each. That's $160,000. We know that the expenses are $290,000. And expenses reduce equity, so we're going to put them in brackets to indicate that they're negative numbers. They pay dividends of $20,000, which is also a reduction in equity, so it's a negative number. And then we earned revenues of $350,000, which increases equity, so it's a positive number. We know nothing about assets and liabilities, but the question only asks us, what is the equity? And I'm assuming that's at the end of the period. If we do the math down this column, closing equity is equal to $200,000. Notice how helpful the matrix is. Let's do one more complicated question. Again, I'm going to set up my matrix right away. Fill in the known numbers. At the beginning of the year, a business has assets of $580,000 and liabilities of $385,000. During the year, the business has costs, which are expenses, of $638,000, negative paid dividends of 12000 and earned revenues of 972000 I hardly left any space for the opening balance in equity, but we're just going to have to deal with that. In addition, the assets increased by 89250 What are total liabilities at the end of the year? Actually, we have a number of different ways we could solve this. I'm going to change my color. The fact is, we can take each of these rows separately. In each case, the equation has to work. I can also look at the equations by the columns. Either way, it makes absolutely no difference because this line right here, that's the same as an equal sign. So I can take the assets and say 580,000 plus 89,250 is equal to 669,250. Now, Liabilities, I don't have anything. I don't know what happened during, but can I calculate it? Of course I can. I can calculate it using the row because 89,250 is equal to X plus all of these numbers together. By the way, since they didn't mention owner's contributions, the assumption is it's zero. So can I solve for the change in the liabilities during the year? And the answer is, yes, I can, but I don't really have to. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for the opening equity. 580,000 minus 385,000 is equal to 195,000. Now I'm going to solve for this column. 195,000 plus 972,000 minus 638,000 minus 12,000 is equal to? 517,000. I can now use the last row 
and solve for the unknown liabilities. 669,250 minus 517,000 is equal to 152,250. I can then use this column, take 385,000, subtract 152,250 and determine the change in the liabilities. Negative 232,750. The question asked us liabilities are 152,250 which, you know, I already calculated before, but I just kept going. All right. In the next video, I'm going to do a more complicated solve for unknown numbers.